Hello, hello. Welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I am Tammy Lynn, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your lifetime power and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith and finishing strong in Jesus' name. I am here with uh, a word that is a revelation that I know will bring about a transformation. It is another one of those words that not everybody wants to hear, but I don't come with hyped up words. Um, I am surrendered to that which the Lord wants me to release. And um, I'm releasing this with love. I'm releasing it with truth. And I'm releasing it with boldness. Because for those who this is for, the Lord is wanting you to know that it is time to stop making the promise an idol. It is time to stop hungering more for the promise than the promise keeper. There is purpose in your weight. And some of that purpose is to draw you closer to Him, help you grow more in Him, for Him to do some things in you, because of some things He's also wanting to do through you. So the way is also a time of preparation. But it's not just so much about the preparation of the promise. I just feel that some of you that this is for, the delay is not because God is trying to figure out how to manifest the promise. It's because you have been idolizing the promise. And God wants no other God, no other thing before him. So unfortunately, this is uncomfortable to say this, but I got, I've got to say it because it's, it's coming in my spirit. You're not going to get the promise until you stop making it an idol. Because God is more concerned about what is in your heart than about what you are wanting in your hand. And faith is hope in the unseen. He is wanting you, he, he requires you to walk by faith. He requires you to walk the battle out in faith. He requires you to stay in faith. He requires you to put on the armor of God every day and to do something with your faith. Faith without works is dead. And some of you have been having some dead faith. God's not dead. Your faith is dead. Because you've been so fixated on that promise. He's a promise maker and he's a promise keeper. And he is a keeper of his word. He's going to come through. He's going to do what he said. But in this process of him doing what he, he is doing, perhaps it is more about you. Because he knows if he gave you that promise, you're going to forget about the promise keeper. Because it was never really about him in the first place. It was about what he was able to do that you just wanted in your hand. Because that is what's going to give you the happiness. That's what's going to make you whole. That's what's going to make you feel complete. That's what's going to uh, fill you with joy. That's how you can keep going on. That's disorder. That's disorder, people of God. And that's not how God's going to do it. It is time to allow his presence in your life to fully satisfy you. It's time to stop wanting that, that promise, that desire in your heart more than him. So it comes back to you. You hear people all the time say, you're not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. That's part of this. God's waiting on you. All things are possible with God and he's got that promise. He's got it. And he's going to manifest that promise. But I believe it comes down when it comes to the timing. I believe that comes down to you understanding what he is needing from you. And he is needing you to come up out from that juniper tree, to rise up in faith, Walk in faith, walk in the power and authority he has been given to you 
Stop spending more time telling everybody about your sadness and what has happened and the pain and talking all that stuff and start giving more attention to rebuking the devil. To stop spending more time feeling sorry for yourself. I hate to put it that way, but that's just how it's coming out. Feeling sorry for yourself and being in a state of pity, then you are being filled with the fullness of the joy of the Lord, knowing that he's with you, that he has spoken to you, and that he's watching over his word, and he's going to perform his word, and you will have it in due season. You will have it at his time. So people are gone. Stop waiting for the promise to manifest before you think you can be happy. It's time to learn to be happy right now, right where you're at. You are so loved and God sees you and he is going to come through for you, but we can't skip the process. When Abraham entered into God's rest, it was a turning point. It is time to enter into God's rest. Stop trying to figure out the timing. Stop being so fixated on that, that promise. Stop trying to bargain with God. Your pity is not what moves God. He has compassion upon you. I have compassion upon you. Because I hate the fact that you're having to feel I'm discouraged and depressed and that you're under a juniper tree. I, I, I just, that, that makes me sad for you. But it is your faith that moves God. So get God moving. Let your faith rise up. Get your eyes off of the problem. Get your eyes on the promise keeper and the promise maker. I've said before, get your eyes off the problem and get it on the promise. But this is a little revelation that somebody needs to know because your eyes is on the problem and it's on the promise rather than fixated on the one above and the promise keeper and the promise maker. So the battle is because the problem and the promise has just consumed you. It's time to review the strategies of the devil. It's time to do some self-talk. Stop talking to everybody else and start doing some self-talk. And start letting that warrior in you rise up. And certainly if you are not hungering and thirsting for more of him, then I pray you get to that point because he is certainly bringing you to that point. And the quicker you embrace that, the better. So again, it's not necessary that you're waiting on God. God is waiting on you. People of God, until next time, shalom.